I mean, what better frame to start this episode off of? So you really are the mastermind. Who is it? Are you lost? Do you not know where you're at? Well, then you needed some help, don't you? You're missing last episode. Click it. It's like gonna pop up somewhere. We're getting at the very end. There's at least one more chapter left, I think. Uh, but I feel it. I feel it in my haunches. Come closer to the end of Danganronpa V3, guys. If you did miss last episode, you might want to check it out because so much, basically everything we've been, uh, most of the things that we've been uh, thinking about, uh, wondering about, have been answered in last episode, so click it. And now we continue on because I really want to know what happens. Don't tell me. You were always suspicious from the start, but for you to be the mastermind, yeah. you look like you don't believe me, Shuichi. I'm so disappointed in you. I even gave you such a huge hint, but you still didn't get it. The world is mine, oh, Kokichi. Boy. I was waiting with so much anticipation to see when you guys would figure it out. Hint, you left that message for this? Maybe. But I guess that precious hint went to waste all because you bastards trusted each other. Huh? Huh? Don't huh. say bad words, please. God. I told you, you guys should have doubted each other more. You guys couldn't realize I was the mastermind earlier, and there could have been less victims. <laughs> Actually, Kaede had the right idea to try to kill the mastermind at the start. Too bad, though. If only she'd killed me, then the killing game would have ended. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> this is the truth to the killing game. Well, this turned out to be not so boring, right? Not anyone could have organized a killing game with the, the last 16 survivors of humanity, you know. Damn it. Are you saying it's the truth? We were just being led around by you this whole time? You mad? Oh, you mad? You mad? So what are you gonna do about it? Shut up! Of course I'm mad. Don't think you won just because you've got the existles on your side. Cause we got the electro hammers. Like that's gonna work. What? What's happening? Wow. Oh, typical Kaito. I guess things aren't going your way. Lucky for me, you ran out of juice. What? Well, he did use it. Yeah. At that moment, his electro hammer powered down. Oh, all of them. What? Well, hey, you know. lied. You lied. Why would he do that? So surprising that Kokichi would lie. I told you, didn't I? The problem is that it runs out of battery pretty qu uh, quickly. But... but that lasted longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a bit nervous. Did you calculate you? that too? I'm bad. Oh, so they like had it turned on the whole time. Ah. Sorry, Kaito, your tiny brain is just too different from mine. Oh, Don't glare at me like that. Punching me won't solve anything either, you know. You but okay, but, but alright. But why does he have control of Monokuma? And second, when is Juko gonna come in the picture? And how is Juko related? Because you know she's coming. You know, I, I I'm not that will that will not be a shocker. It's it's, it's expected at this point. Even if that is the case. Don't I don't know if I skipped over a line. You just said you can't resurrect the dead. I can't get over it if I don't punch you. Kaito, wait! I tried to stop him before he ran off, but I couldn't grab him in time. He's gonna die. He's gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> Your stupidity can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain first. Stop it! But Maki's scream was in vain. No, is he really gonna die like this? Before our very eyes, Kaito charged at the Existles. It was smacked down. He hung limply from the Existles hand like a rag doll. No, you Kaito. can't do Kaito like this! Don't worry, he's not dead. Oh, thank God. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me, the mastermind. So well, why kill the Monocups? And who are the Monocups? Was he controlling them too? <laughs> These Exosols were originally machines to protect us. They were built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. Hilarious. Oh man. Oh, her hair is un out of control now. Give Kaito. Huh? Give it back. Give Kaito back. Ooh, she's she coming. Her eyes screaming murder. Maki glared at Kokichi and moved towards him. No, Maki, even if you... I don't die. Uh, oh, no. I don't want to die. It's no use. I won't let go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. Please, Maki. Shuichi. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. But... but your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. <laughs> they're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. Mm -hmm. Ending? What did you say? If this is the ending, then what are we supposed to do now? If the world is destroyed and we're the last human beings left, <laughs> what are we supposed to do from now on? Mm -hmm. How about doing anything you want? Mm -hmm. well, you know. I know I started this whole thing, but I'm bored now, so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's why I wanted to reveal the truth. I wanted to see utter despair on your faces. Yeah. I'm totally satisfied now, so you guys are free to do whatever you want. Wait. Hold on, you were the one that started all this. That's so irresponsible. You guys can commit Sudoku together or kill each other. Or you can change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that, too. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. What's the barrier? <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's Ark. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. So, like, really? There's no hope at all? 
And how are they gonna make a new game? Is the game gonna be based in a different timeline? Because this is bad, right? This is really bad. There's no way they're gonna be able to make a game based off of this, unless this new Danganronpa game was gonna take place on another planet, right? Oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. Well, yeah, kind of figured That's that. That's just one of the arc's functions. It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. Yeah, that's scary. Anyway, the killing game is over. Now you can do whatever you please. Huh? I don't know what to do. You bastard. What do you plan to do with Kaido? Oh, I just want him to chill out for a bit. Hot-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. Why would that happen? Chewie, can I have the Existle Hangers alarm remote back? Huh? See? I was thinking about- Oh, so that, that does prove that it was him. Because he wasn't there for that. I was thinking that it'd be a perfect place to keep Kaito in. Stop it. Don't give it to him, Chewie. Chewie. Hand it over, Chewie. Bastard. Oh, God. No. You know what'll happen if you don't hand it over, right? Don't you this do it. This school is mine! I am the king! Right, man. I, Kokichi Oma. I'm the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. Yes! This world is mine! I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. No, we can't betray another one of our bros. I know she's a girl, but she's a bro. Kokichi's evil yet innocent smile stayed on his face as he took the key. Okay, all right, well, the hammers do recharge, right? Like, why leave them with the hammers if you know, if you know we're going to use it against them? I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do. He solved the entire mystery for us and left. He left us uh, with the truth. The truth of our ultimate despair. That doesn't say ultimate at all. I don't know why I said that. But essentially, yes. All right. So here comes the part of the game where we need to rise up, right? And we need to say, hope. I know how this goes. I, I've played enough of these games. We need Kaito to, like, guide us to the new uh, place. But but think of it this way, right? Like, maybe he'll get to go to space, right? I really just hope he doesn't die. Maki. Um, <sighs> Coward. I know. Oh, but I just don't have the strength. I can't fight back. I can't do it. Well, I mean, what do you expect? They're freaking robots. Like, there's nothing you can do against them. Am I okay? How could I be okay? The outside world, everything's destroyed. Everyone's dead. Everyone at school, everyone in my neighborhood, they're all dead. Uh, um, yeah, the, the crazy thing too is that this is like, what they what they say? Like 100 years in the future? Or, it's in the future. So like, that that's just insane. Like, what the heck, man? What, what do you, what do you even do? You just don't. Like, they, they literally have to repopulate. That's the only way that they're gonna, this, the humanity is gonna survive. And Kaito, he's in not good shape, so he's probably gonna go freaking bye bye anyway. And then there's Kokichi. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't, I, I, I don't know what they're gonna do. What am I supposed to do now? There's no point in living anymore. That's not true. Samuki, are you okay? Just stop asking if they're okay. No one's okay. She's got a thousand yard stare. It's no use talking to her right now. The Ultimate Academy is a spaceship, and we're the 16 survivors of humanity. Unfortunately. This killing game we've been playing, why pit the remnants of humanity against each other? For a world that no longer exists. Yeah, so what was the point of the monitors? You know? <laughs> and the mastermind who interneted all this is forcing us to participate is Kokichi. And he could be lying, right? He could be lying about things. Ugh, I can't. My mind feels like it's about to short circuit. Me too. Maybe there is still hope. The whole truth was revealed. The conclusion. This is the end. There's no outside world. We're the only humans left. Trying to get outside was pointless and we played the killing game for it. It was all meaningless. That's the conclusion. So what did all the others die for then? <laughs> so this is the despair that Gonta felt. So much despair that you want to die. It really is just like that. <laughs> if it's like this, it would have been better if I died a lot earlier. <laughs> then it's all over now. That's the truth. That's the end of everything. Our story ends. It's all bad. We all should have just died a long time ago. Haito has got to like show up at the end of the day like the superhero he is, you know? And he's got to like give us all hope. Even though the main character is supposed to do that. I don't even remember how I got back to my room, but before I knew it, I felt my body in bed numb. I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the despair, but the sleep came anyway. Now there's the Titanic. <laughs> we never saw him control Monokuma. That is a fact. We must keep facts in our minds. Monokuma must not be here anymore. There's no point in mourning uh, announcements now. So it's really over. There's no point to this killing game anymore because there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. There's a blah, blah, blah. Okay. This is an epilogue. All that's left is to take up time. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Dang, that's sad. 
That's pretty sad. But I couldn't I couldn't imagine the reality of like all that happening. Just like knowing that everyone you love is gone and everything is just gone. I wonder what Kaito is doing. Uh, okay. That's right. I wonder if Kaito is okay. Is he? It's no use. My mind isn't working on my body. Dang, so he's just laying in bed. Hey, what the heck? This might be a, a movie reference, but that's definitely Despair Girl reference. All right, normally I don't read these because usually they're pointless, but I have a feeling this one is actually uh, meaning meaningful. If you're searching for the meaning of life, you're already doing it wrong. Your life doesn't need a meaning, it just needs a purpose. In other words, you just need something to live for. You can live for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can even live for eating delicious food or playing games. Most people can get by as long as they have something to live for. If you say Danganronpa is your reason to live, I couldn't be happier! Well, there's a lot of fans out there that probably would say that. It's been a real pleasure doing business with you. Does the game just thank me for buying the game? It's morning. How long have I been like this? I should get up or I might not ever give up, get up again. I don't care if I just kill my... Huh? What? My body reacted reflexively as I heard the door bang. Oh. Somewhat surprised that I even managed to get out of bed, I went to the door. Uh, um... What could it be? That's right, guys. You know, sometimes it seems like there's no reason, but if you wait, you'll find a reason. On my feet for the first time in a long while, I walked uneasily to the door. I slowly opened it and... You look terrible. Uh, um, hey. Go take a shower or something, anything to help your face. I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Huh? Oh, look, his hair is so messed up. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Maki spoke uh, curtly and left. Everyone is waiting in the dining uh, hall. I guess um, I should go. I already took a hot shower and left my room. I'm telling you, either Kokichi is lying or they're gonna have to re actually repopulate. Then they'll have a purpose, all right. Everyone was in the dining hall besides Kokichi and Kaito. But mentally, they weren't really there. The life had gone out of their eyes. Everyone here looks terrible. Really, even I look terrible. Or even I? Well, your face always looks like that. What are we talking about? We're discussing how we want to die, right? Huh? What? I want to go without suffering, Maki. Can you do something about okay. that? Sure, but before that, take a look at this. Oh. Ooh, flashback light! I'm sure she was being sarcastic. Maki, why do you have that? See. It was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. Huh? It was just sitting there? Kokichi probably just put it there. Well then. To confirm the truth, perhaps? If we use that flashback light, we may recover memories that corroborate, corroborate his story. So we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth Kokichi told us? We don't need to confirm anything we saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. Do you want to die comfortably? I can help you, but we should check this flashback light first. Huh? What? Uh, why do we have to do that? Because. It's the only thing we can do right now. If we're going to die, then we might as well do anything we can. We have no regrets. We'll have no regrets that way. That's right. And even if it's dangerous, it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well... So let's do what we can. Well, okay. Things won't end up any worse than they already are. I mean, that's the, that's the spirit, right? Like, you can't get any worse. Right? Right? Kibo, Shuichi, are you fine with that? Very well, then. Uh, okay. Yeah. And thus, it was decided. Fairly painlessly. A flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious and suspicious. But before our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyway. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Here we go. The world flipped upside down. Turned inside out. Come on, baby. We need some hope here. That's it. I remember. Everything is connected. And we had forgotten. We had forgotten that everything is connected. They obviously agreed to do this, right? Oh, hope speak. It all started at that academy. A government-backed school that nurtured the most talented students in the various subjects. Hope speak academy. It's some it's somehow nostalgic to see this. It's like we <laughs> We, we've been playing these games back to back, but I still still nostalgic. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Ah, oh, that the, the music too. It, tri it triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence, and the tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. 
Juco. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. Ah, uh, the saving the cast again. Ah. <laughs> I miss them all so much. Trapped by the ultimate despair, forcing it to a killing game. But after Juko and Inoshima died, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. Oh, okay. But Juko, why does that guy look different than all of them? But Juko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't done sowing chaos. I know this story already, but I'll just play it for you guys if you want a refresher. The Future Foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, but it came to a sudden end. And right then, it was from then on that we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth. So how'd the meteor start? One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell upon the world carrying an unknown virus. This game came out when? <laughs> Emboldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, humanity deserved damnation. The Future Foundation was overwhelmed by the renewed despair and quickly lost influence. And then, Makoto Naegi, uh, together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project at Hope Speak Academy. Only genius can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape this earth to become the seeds of the future. That's the only hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began and 16 Hope Speak students were selected. Do they just need to cancel that school already? <laughs> we were like, it's obviously not working out. We were those 16 students. That's it. We weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope uh, Peaks Academy. We were the students that applied after learning Hope's Peak was rebuilt. And the new Hope's Peak was the last in, was the last in that. It accepted applications for talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope's Peak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. But we were all students of the Hope's Peak Academy. From the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because, no, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. The mysterious virus from the meteorites had spread rapidly around the world. My God! I mean, it's a little, it's a little scary, kind of. How, it's, it's like half accurate, you know, kind of. I mean, not definitely not on this scale, but it's still bad. The entire world was on the brink of extinction. Hope had almost triumphed, but cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. Like on top of everything that was bad, freaking meteorites with a virus? That's just bad luck. But we just happened to be immune to the virus. That was the reason why we were chosen for the Gopher Project. I finally remembered. Everything. That world, this world, it's all connected. Why did it only show- That's it. Oh, it showed that from the second game, huh? Everyone, did you all remember? I can vividly recall everything now. Yes. Yeah, why, how could we forget something so important? Yeah. We were students of Hope Speak Academy. We were the symbols of hope entrusted with the survival of all of humanity, except for one person, Kokichi Oma, the mastermind behind this killing game, his organization's real identity. They were the remnants of despair. That's right. I should have known he was wearing black and white! To destroy the Gopher Project. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. Out of all of us, he is the closest to the ultimate despair. But he is the only one. It's so obvious a killing game like this could only be done by the remnants of despair. Class trials. Monokuma. The students of Hope's Peak Academy. It's all just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Only someone who worships the ultimate despair would replicate that killing game. Which means... That this killing game is just like the other one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. A killing game that mires hope and dark despair. You got a minute? Wait, hold on. If this were such an important killing game, then why did Kokichi abandon it? Uh... That's also something the remnants of despair would do. They admire Junko and Oshima, right? He made an elaborate plan to cause us to despair, but he was bored of that plan. Jeez. Wanting to feel the despair of the plan being ruined, that's the ultimate despair for you. What's wrong, Maki? So what? Nothing, I'm just not convinced. It's, okay. it's probably fine though, it's not a big deal. Are okay. you sure? What? We finally learned the truth, but we still can't do anything. Like I said, we still haven't seen him control Monokuma. We just seen him control the Existles, which potentially, I feel like he could get uh, the, the, like, the control panel. There's no hope left for Everyone. us. No, we just need to become that hope. What's wrong? But then again, like he, there is some proof that he was Monokuma, but you know, we'll see. If all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we're students of Hope's Peak Academy, aren't we? We're all the slats of the 16 who survived the battle between hope and despair. If we give up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. That's true. Fought for nothing. I heard it. That's what my inner voice is telling me. That no matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. Yes, that's what it's urging me to do. Leave it to me. So I will not despair, even if it's only a little. I will move forward with hope. I want to know his backstory. I want to know who created him. Uh, Kibo. Okay, listen closely. Right now, there's no use in thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. 
That's what I believe hope is. I see. That's what hope is. I see. Yeah, you're right. We're the students of the new Hope's Peak Academy, rebuilt as the symbols of hope. Yeah. If we, the students of Hope's Peak, give up the world, we'll really be plunged into despair. You're right. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm going to live up to the end and never give up. <laughs> we won't be able to do anything in that destroyed world. Great, huh? But making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. That's what I'm talking about. I love all these cheesy messages at the end of the games. <laughs> it's a pain, but it'll be worth it. I'll live. I'll live for 100 million more years, you guys. You're right. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Let's fight together against despair. Yes. yes, as long as we stand together, without giving in to despair, we will find a new hope. We all stood in unison. We each felt the power of hope coursing through us, uh, driving our bodies. The hope born in this academy, a tree of life with roots down deep. It was supporting each and every one of us. Motivation is ru rushing through my entire body. <laughs> this is the power of hope. With a laugh like that, you sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. <laughs> Kokichi may have left that flashback light to make us give up, but if that was his plan, it failed. It's true, it does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. The only person who can give us flashback lights is Kokichi. Hey. So what's our plan now? What are we going to do about Kokichi? That's right. We gotta stop the you-know-who, the remnant of despair, or this despair will never end. Okay. We have to save Kaito You're too. You're right! Of course! Okay, so how, how, how are they gonna do it? How are they gonna do it? You're right. He's so stupidly positive. He's just the kind of guy we need at a time like this. That's right. With Kaito by our side encouraging us, then even if we are the only people left, I think we could still find a new hope. I knew that even in a situation like this, he'd think of something. Uh... I'm t he's, he's a pilot, right? Uh, at least he's in training. He's going to get us out of here. That's why he really can't die now. Now that we know this information, like, he can't die. They're in the existence hangar. Huh? Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaito would be trapped okay. in there, but by chance, I happened to see Kokichi leaving the hangar during nighttime yesterday. What? Really? Right, right. I bet the truth is that you're worried about Kaito and we're watching the hangar all day. Uh, 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 real, what? Uh. It's not like I was worried about Kaito or anything. I just had nothing else to do. Fuck. Also, I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for uh, assassins to watch their targets and think of ways to kill them, you know? Stop it. I'm just, I just want to kill him. Don't worry. It's not what you think. Stop, stop. We we're all just getting mushy, but you had to make it all bloody instead. 100%. We know they're all in the existence hangar, but how do we get them out? The code? code obviously it'll be fine i think i know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier does she have an idea okay gotta talk to maki again why, why why not like what is i never understood like what's the point of this so i can slap around some chairs like just keep talking how do you plan to get past the alarm system and the barrier with the electro hammer duh if you hit the control panel with it it should disable the electric barrier we did the same thing with the electronic lock on the exit to the outside world but it won't work the same way on the alarm system will it the alarm will go off before we can even get close enough to use the electro hammer. That's true. Then we'll use this. Oh. Yeah, it's that. If he's so bad and he really wants to kill everyone, why is he giving us tools? He wants to feel the despair. You know, it's all that crap. It jams electric signals by scattering particles that interfere with the electromagnetic waves. Why do you have that, Maki? There were only three and I thought Kokichi had them. <laughs> I stole it from his pocket. Oh. Okay. That's why she did. Oh my god, big brain. I was expecting your clep. Tomania and Terrifying Glare are both first class. The, the Terrifying Glare part was a joke, so can you stop glaring at me so terrifyingly? Thank you very much. Nice work, Maki. We can use the Electro Bomb to get inside the hangar. No. Not only that, it will disable all communication. So that's how they can stop the existence. And it's for like how long? For like three hours or something? What? I think Okichi will be as good as butt naked. All he'll be able to do is hold his crotch and run. No. But he might still... Why would she word it that way? But he might still be able to control an existence from inside. Oh my. Butt naked? No. No, I'm pretty sure he'll be clothed. <laughs> then we should uh, break the electro hammers as a precaution against the existence. Uh, Dang, I just left my sitting around without charging sorry. it. Sorry, but I did too. I mean, I get it, but how could you do this? Hmm. It takes 24 hours to uh, charge an electro hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow. Uh, We're going to wait until tomorrow morning? What about the hangar? Uh, we don't really have a choice, do we? Uh, without the electro hammers, it's impossible. Remember. Lucky, I know that you don't want to wait a single minute more than necessary. But we shouldn't try this until tomorrow, when everyone is ready. Fine, that's what we'll do. This time, we'll definitely kill him. Them. Wait! No, Maki, you can't. Even if he is the remnant of despair that doesn't... But if we kill him, then everything will end. No, no, I think you should kill him. I don't think we're having a change of heart, a change of heart here. Like, right? I don't like killing. But I think there comes to a point where it's like, they're not going to listen. Right? You got to. For that reason, I will kill no. him. But you can't. You're right. I understand how you feel, Maki, but we feel bad uh, after... But we'd feel bad after we killed him. Okay, Shuichi, don't you do some freaking Naruto talk, no jutsu on him, you know? 
You can't, I don't think you could talk this guy out of it. Don't. But maybe it'll happen, I don't know. It would be no different than the killing game that causes so much suffering. Yeah. That's the sort of thing that the remnants of despair or Kira would do. Kira? <laughs> ah, I like that. Uh, you guys, you guys watch Death Note, huh? But Kaito said that killing is wrong, remember? I knew it. I, I'm pretty sure that was uh, Death Note. Fine, if everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. Well, that was easy. Well, but if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll definitely kill him. <gasps> wow, Maki's actually reliable. No. No, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. If a Maki roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. Ah, <laughs> uh, you may have deserved that, Himiko. But it's true that this is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one. And it's thanks to Maki. We were sedentary, feeling sorry for ourselves. She was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaito. Because Kaito was worried about her, she promised to work hard to do her best. Of course, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again. Got a minute? What are you looking at? Sorry. Sorry. Gotta love Maki, man. Let's do our best, and the three of us can train together. Ah, yes. Let's do our best. Oh god, I'm falling. Uh, we finalize our plan. Yes. Until then, we would wait for the Electro Hammers to recharge and split up, focus, and determined. Hey, there's his hammer right there. All right. Can't wait till the next edition comes out that charges itself. I should scout the area. It would be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan. And I'm worried about Kaito. I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I have to. Okay. Alright, I'll go. So, is this technically an investigation? It's not free time. Alright, well, I'm assuming he wants me to go to the hangar, so that's where I'm gonna go. Oh, if I keep going, I should reach the hangar. If he's in the hangar, there's a good chance it exists or patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Oh, it's just like the beginning of the game, isn't it? Oh, I hear them. Holy crap. Hello? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god. Can we get a game where we just have to hide from them? Huh? Oh wait, Monokuma? Huh? This is the first time I'm seeing him in a while. Are the Existles protecting him? How freaking weird. And why now? And why all four of them? Kokichi's controlling them, right? So why would he do that? Wait, if the Existles are here, they aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance. I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw any attention. They're either protecting him or they're... Are they're... I kind of want to know what happens if I go. I'm gonna save it. If I don't do it now, guys, I'll always wonder if I, like, why didn't I do it? It's almost like they're making sure he doesn't move. Oh, okay. Well, I, I tried. So I can run, I can run as much as I want. They no one gonna see me. The alarm is enabled. The electric barrier is up too. I can't get close to the shutter. And I only saw four existals. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside? Hmm. Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey, to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Oh, right here. Yeah, I did see this. Uh, okay, uh, can I see inside from here? I peeked into the small window, and I saw a silhouette on the other side. Oh! What are you doing here? <laughs> Kaito! It's so good to see you! Kaito! Don't shout, stupid! Kokichi will hear us! Uh, is he close by? No, I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the exosols with him. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? Yes. No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. All of you? It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I... I had given up. We had all given up, but not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. That's Kaito for you. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say, don't worry, it'll be okay. It's just... I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an Exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an Electro Hammer. True. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah, of course. That's nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, okay. I'm wondering, sure. like, what is actually wrong with him, though? And hey, Kaito, about what happened with Gonta. Wait, what if he has, like, the virus or something? Is that possible? Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. What? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Especially Maki Roll. 
She can be reckless sometimes. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Rely on your friends. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. You got it, Shuichi. I hope you were. In that whole I'd hug you? Yes, I understand. All right, now get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. After leaving Kaito with a smile, I return to my room. Please don't die. Please don't die. I just feel it. I feel it coming. Hmm. Uh, there's no point in wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. I tried to get myself in the right mindset for the final battle while I was meditating on it. It became nighttime before I knew it. I'm telling you, it explains why he's not there because he's being freaking uh, um, captured or something. We go at dawn. <laughs> All right. I have to do it to live, to find a reason to live. I will fight. The heck? <laughs> well, if you're watching this Monokuma theater segment, it's already too late. You kids might not know, but to a 100% cotton mascot like me, hope is well. The thought of you, the thought of seeing young people brimming with hope, killing each other just to survive, watching their hope fade away, there's nothing more despair inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other, it makes me oh so sad. Oh how I long to see everyone's despairing faces soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it. I grabbed the charged electro hammer and ran out of my room. Okay, I'll let you guys charge your electro hammers and come and try to rescue Kaito. It does make sense though, right? Like Kokichi doesn't just want to win, he wants a fight. He wants, he doesn't want to be bored. It's all pointless, but okay. I mean, the the, the reality is if they, if we all died, he would just be bored and there would be nothing to live for. Really, honestly, at that point. So we have to fight. I'm ready. Yeah. Of course, my electro hammer is all recharged, and I even put bedazzles on it. <laughs> I even bedazzled my hammer, imagine. She's a cosplayer, you know. At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have their electro hammer. Mikey, where's your electro no. hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. This is much better. Uh, a knife? Um, well, I suppose you know best. Hey. Well, then we're off. Hey. Before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted out the hangar yesterday. Uh. And told them okay. they're gonna tell them about Kokichi or Kaito. The bathroom I see, that certainly is the best place to lock someone I up. I also saw Monokuma by the hangar being protected by four existals. So we had to be careful that we weren't spotted. I saw that too. You saw? Were you at the hangar too? I thought maybe I can get through to Kokichi before we carry out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. Wow, why would you do that? I'm sorry, I thought it would be preferable to for him to release Kaito peacefully. How did it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But but I did witness a few things. Yeah? So what? Well, we'll discuss it later. No! <laughs> Tell us now. now. He's saying he saw one of the existals uh, enter the hangar. No. Just one? Yes. yes, the green one. The Correct. green one. I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Uh, neither the alarm system nor the electric barrier uh, reacted to the existals presence. Could it be? Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barriers don't work against the existals? That's right. Uh, well, robots, uh, in general, so he has to go first, I get it. Anyway, there's two of them in the hangar, we should be careful. We only have one chance. Okay. Since this is our only electro bomb, we can't afford to miss. Right. That's exactly right. Hmm. Well then, we're off for Everyone. this one. We'll do it! <laughs> I can't read! Let's go! We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what! Energized and motivated, the group rushed out. Let's go. Please don't go wrong. Please don't go wrong. I should start by going the right way. Everyone must have gone to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late. We're gonna end this game with a class trial. I just know it. You can't defeat me. You have to prove me wrong first. What the heck's the wires? Is that like their tail or something? Like, what the heck is that? Monokuma's not here. He should have been protected by the existals. And the existals. They don't look like they're going to move. What's going on? And there's only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. That's true. I just... It's just like Kibo said. We should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. Uh, if, if all five of them are there, it'd be impossible to execute the plan. All right. Let's keep going. Like, Maki cut it or something? Like, okay. Everyone's here and alive for the most part. <laughs> Good. Well then. Uh, let's get started. Mm. I'm ready. Are you Okay. Maki, are you ready with the electro bomb? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? It's similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags a bit after you push the switch. Once we roll this to the front of the shutter, it should be uh, disarmed the alarm That's system. Obvious. This won't fail. Hmm. The electro bomb now has an effect of uh, 50 yards and lasts for two hours. If Kokichi's remote uh, control is disabled, we'll stand a chance against the existals. All right. Let's stop Kokichi before he gets into the existals. But for but be ready for the worst. We might have to use the electro hammer. If he gets into the, that existal, I'll stop him with his hammer. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. What's wrong, Maki? We're all, we're all ready to start, you know? That's true. Yeah, all right. I mean, I'd be nervous too. Maki triggered the Electro Bomb, then rolled it to the front of the shutter. And then... Does it really work? 100%. Okay, well, for once, Kokichi didn't lie. Uh, now we can approach the control panel. Shuichi. Will you do the honors? Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I gotta smack it, right? But I have a code. I took a picture of it and everything. Right. This thing looks like it's already been broken. Is it just me? The the control panel was covered in marks as if damaged by something sharp. Shuichi, what are you, what are you doing? Hurry up. Okay. Sorry, I've got it. No time to think now. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. Oh my! It turned off. Everyone, let's go. We all ran uh, to the shutter at once. Oh, right. We won't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore. Yeah. You'd be, be you better be ready. This is oh, it. Right. The remnants of despair end here and now. After opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand. <laughs> to end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. Oh no. Oh no. Please be Kokichi. Oh! Oh no! Let that just be his freaking coat! No! Oh, whenever there's an angle like this, dude, that's not good. An anime? Oh. No way. No way. What? No freaking way. <laughs> A body has been discovered! Oh my god. Everyone, please gather at the Exosol <laughs> hangar! We can't go through this again. <laughs> the killing game just keeps going and going. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. The despair is not over yet. That's awful. That was the worst thing, man. That's bad. What is this? What's going on? Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much despair. Yeah. Is that blood? It can't be. The body discovery announcement. Does that mean someone's in that press? What? Who? <laughs> the only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaito. It must be one of them. Huh? What? Either Please be a Kokichi. <gasps> Look! Huh? Those clothes! They're Kaitos. What did you say? Then the one in the hydraulic presses. No, it's not possible. <laughs> Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. Great! Why would we have to go through a class trial again? Now then. And so I will now pass out the Monokuma uh, file. Nice. And don't say you're getting all bored of this because things are about to get interesting. Now I hope you pour your heart and soul into this investigation too. Hold on, we have to investigate so the killing game is going to continue? The killing game will continue. <laughs> if the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving then, it means the mastermind Kokichi is still alive. What was if that? If Kokichi is still alive, then that means the one dead over there is... Uh... Kaito? That's wrong. That's not possible. There has to be some mistake. There's no way Kaito would die. It has to be a lie. I made a run for the body when... Calm down. Maki can't stop me. Huh? Calm down? How could you say that, Maki? Kaido is. I've seen so much death already. Death of good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait! It doesn't bother you. What are you talking Shut about? Up. More importantly, where's Kokichi? Why? That's right. I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangar. What? He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Indeed. Let's split up and look for him. Uh, leave no stone unturned. Wait, this just doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense at all. Why would Kokichi kill Kaito? That wouldn't make any sense. That wouldn't obviously make him the 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 blacken. But if everything's over, no 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 no. This doesn't make any sense. The game took away all incentive for the killing game to continue. And yet we're gonna have a class trial. So that has to mean that has to mean that either there's a secret student or one of us did it. And to me, that would mean that Kokichi was lying. He's not the the student. He's not the the the, the ultimate like student betrayal person. 
It's someone else. And obviously the major suspect would be Kibo. Because we know nothing about him. He's a freaking robot. <sighs> I'm stressed. I'm stressed about this. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. We can't leave yet. We don't okay. know for certain if that dead body is Kaito. We haven't explored all of the possibilities yet. What? If it's not Kaito, then who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokichi? Then why is the killing game continuing? That's what I'm saying. Doesn't make any sense. Why? And if Kaito's alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? Uh... Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Stop it. Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaito being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. That's impossible! I don't think Kaito uh, could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? And his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, uh, could control the existals at will. How could Kaito have killed something like that when he was sick and wounded? I don't know. I just... I'm saying it's imposs It's possible. And even if it is Kokichi that was killed, that doesn't mean that Kaito is the culprit. But how? So does that mean the culprit is one of us? Stop it! Wait, that's impossible. Right. No matter how shocking Kaito's death is, saying we're suspects is going too far. I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaito is dead, but I just can't believe that. Or perhaps I don't want to believe it. I can't believe Kaito is dead. Um. Let's investigate. We need to find the truth here with our own hands and reveal the truth in the trial. Don't tell me. So you want to continue the killing game? Because the class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I, I have one more theory, and it's one more. And this is so out of out of left field, but it makes it even more uh, special if I somehow am right about this. Right? Tell me if I'm wrong about this. I swear on my life, if I'm right about this, I'll be so happy. Oh, it says unknown status. So it is, the game hasn't confirmed it or not he's dead. But let me say this. Someone is dead. And we also don't know if he's alive. I like, I've never actually seen that symbol before. The reason why I thought Samugi uh, it, it was the last culprit uh, is because they haven't shown anything about Samugi. Like, right? Think about it. How much screen time have we actually got of Samugi? Not very much. She hasn't done any killing. She hasn't done anything like that. She's a cosplayer. What if, perhaps, this is totally left field. What if she was lying about her cosplay disease? What if she's like Junko or something? She's like, I'm Junko, bam, and she did the killing. Someone came last night and did all that crap. And it, it, it probably wasn't Monokuma. Oh, there's so many theories. I'm just saying, I feel like she has not been shown in the game and like she's not relevant to this game. Like, at least Himiko, I know you could probably say something similar to Himiko, but in a way, like, you know, she had the whole trial and everything, so, like, there's that. But I am getting some sus vibes from Samugi, uh, but I just think it's weird. I think it's weird. Like, she seems like a character that's just not important. She's just there. So, why do I feel like she's gonna have a huge part in this last class trial? But, again, I could just be speaking out of my butt, and, yeah. I, I don't know. What if I'm right? You know, I just say these crazy things and then hopefully I'm right. But the game obviously wants us to suspect Maki and Kibo. Those are the obvious suspects. You're right. If the class trial was going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. But we already know the answer. We can't die here. We decided to live for hope. My main concern is how Kokichi will react. If we accuse him of being the culprit, if he just plays dumb and runs away, there's there'll be nothing we can do. But... Why is it showing her? Wait, how tall is- how tall is Junko? According to Google, she's 5'6". I know that wouldn't really match Samugi, but I'm just saying something- something bothers me about Samugi. I don't know why. I just don't believe she's gonna be that important of a character. Or she is, but it just hasn't explained it yet. I don't think- no, I don't think so. Junko and Oshima cherish the killing game rules. So if the remnants of despair worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore those. Then it'd be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. That's true. But why? The only reason why they would go out of their way to kill Kaito is because they're evil. This is the only conclusion that makes sense. Well then. Let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Shibuchi? Uh, okay. I need it to say if it's Kaito or not. What? It doesn't say? This is the first trial where we don't know who's dead? Oh my god, I can't deal with this, Ed. Oh my god, stop. Please stop scaring me. This is crazy, guys. Uh. So many emotions are running through me. The victim was crushed by the, hydra the hydraulic press and it's un de un un de uh, unidentifiable. That's it. That doesn't tell us anything. The identity of the victim is unknown. It doesn't even tell us that much. I don't care. Uh, it doesn't matter. We already know the victim and the culprit. We already know who the victim and the culprit are. It's decided. The culprit who killed Kaito is definitely Kokichi. No. Wait, Maki, it's still too early to decide that. 
Hmm. It's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but what? Kaito told me. Don't you worry, I'll do something about this. That's a promise. So, I want to believe in the promise Kaito made. I want you to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with huh? you. Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment right now. You're acting like Kaito back in Gonta's class trial. <sighs> it was like this at that time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. But she was the one that jumped into conclusions. Maki turned her back to me and left. Hey, what are my scrubs? Don't worry about me. Just changed my clothes. Don't worry. Fine. I gotta get to the bottom of this. I, I can't. I just can't stay away, man. <laughs> I need to know. Maki. Um. There's something about the air in here that's making me feel off. I don't know if the electro bomb is to blame or if I'm malfunctioning somehow. <sighs> but I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. What? I don't feel weird at all. I mean, could he actually malfunction and do things that he wouldn't Run. remember? Uh, I, I mean, I'm just trying to think of everything. It's gotta be because of the Electro Bomb. Kibo is an electronic appliance after all. <laughs> Don't call me an appliance. You know, isn't that weird? Like, shouldn't he be doing, like, weird things? Like, shouldn't he be, like, not working? Okay. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. <laughs> really, I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. He doesn't want to admit that he's a, a robot. <laughs> then I think I'll start investigating, huh? too. Oh, man. Ah, oh, it's bugging me. I have so many theories, but why? I I will feel so bad if Samuki is innocent again. <laughs> I, can, I don't think I can look her in the eyes if I get it wrong again. Oh, will you be okay by yourself? I could go with you if you want. No. No, you don't have to worry. It'll, I'll be fine by myself. If the body's like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So it should be fine for us all to investigate by ourselves. Himiko left in a hurry. I wonder if Himiko suspects huh? who? Um, Everyone. Because if there's fewer of us, there's fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking? Uh, I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokichi Kaito, but a third party. Anyone could be the Seems culprit. Like yeah, that, oh, this is, I, I just, I, I hope I'm wrong. I don't want it to be Kaito. We were united towards hope before all this, but now we're split could up. Could it be? Could it be that's why Kokichi killed Kaito? Huh? To disrupt our harmony? Um, because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaito? Maybe that's what the class trial is going to be for too. The reason Kokichi is going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. Like I thought. In the end, we were all gathered around Kaito. He was the one keeping us together. If that's why he killed Kaito, then we're completely caught in his trap. This is all a part of his plan. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't get anyone to cooperate with this investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. But... No point standing around complaining. I just have to do it. Time to start. To solve this mystery, I have to find the truth. Alright. Boy! Boy! Oh, this is how you know it's like the last investigation too because of the music. It's always changed at the end. This one is getting real, guys. It's getting real. Alright, let's get this investigation going. Alright, his sleeve is obviously sticking out. They want us to believe that it's him, but we can't say for sure. I, can we lift the operation panel? Even though, like, I wouldn't want to, but, like, kind of, that's what you have to do. But I have to do All it. Alright! I have to know. Oh, is he actually gonna do it? Hmm. Oh, it's not moving. Is it because of the jammer? Why? After looking around the press, I found oh. the power cord is cut. I see, there's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. Hmm. This can't be a coincidence. Power cord was cut on purpose. Why would they... Yeah, it's like this whole murder is being hidden. What concerns me more is the safety function. The hydraulic press should have a safety function. So yeah, if there was a living person under there, they should have known, right? If the infrared detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it did stop uh, when Kibo tried before. Proving he's obviously a robot. If the scissor detected a person, the safety should have stopped. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Alright, toilet. We gotta check the toilet. Mm -hmm. Toilet. Toilet. <laughs> toilet paper. The soap. Everything. Everything sus. Everything sus in this trial. No, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Well, obviously, there's a big Pepto Bismol truck going from the bathroom to the uh, hydraulic press. Oh, the crossbow. How did that get in here? 
Okay, so it was used to hit someone. Oh my god. What is going on? Last bottle. Okay, so this is like map this is like Maki all over it, right? Poison! There's a small bottle in the corner. If I remember correctly. Yeah, it's obviously from his be... from his thing, is it right? Yeah, taken from his lab. It definitely has something to do with the case. Well, um, Kaito definitely knew about the poison and the crossbow. But so did Maki. Okay, what about the toilet? Surely you'll let me investigate the toilet, no? Traces of blood. A puddle of blood in the center of the room and a swipe pattern from there to, there to the door. What could this mean? Black case. Oh, wait. That's probably where the crossbow is in. Yep. Got it. Oh, there's actually more to investigate? Like what? What are we missing, my sports? What are we missing? The toilet paper, of course! I knew it. Oh, the arrows. I didn't. I didn't. The actual arrows themselves. The bolts. Uh, um. uh, what happened here? Why is there three of them? Maybe the arrows were tipped with poison and then they shot someone. For all we know, Kokichi could be- that's the thing, man. That's crazy. I'm gonna- oh, I'm so excited. What if it's Kokichi under there? That would be insane. I could not believe that if that was the truth. But if it was, why make it- why make it look like Kaito is under there? Or the window. A small window for ventilation. This is... The same window from before. It's a small window and it doesn't open all the way. No one should be able to uh, fit yeah. through there. I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object can fit through. So maybe someone gave him the crossbow. Maki was sneaking around and so was Kibo, so there's that. Really? There's more? What else are we supposed to be investigating right now? How are you not going to let me look at the toilet? That's a nice looking toilet, dude. Ha! Alright, well that's it. That's pretty much all the things. Um, why is the crossbow from Maki's lab in here? And the three bloody arrows. The arrows are definitely for the crossbow, but why are all three bloody? And the bottle of poison. Why is it covered? Obviously the text is covered on purpose. Hmm. There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's gonna be tricky. Oh yeah, it's gonna be tricky, baby. Okay, the green existle is empty. The hatch is open as well, and the cockpit hmm. is exposed. So this is how it looks on the inside. It's small, but big enough for one person. Okay, Monaco move, we're finally seeing him. Oh. The hatch is open. How strange, only the Monaco <laughs> Only the Monocubs can turn off the electronic lock and open the hatch. Huh? Only the Monocubs can open the hatch. Yeah. Normally yeah. the Monocubs are the only ones who can pilot the existles. Well. Normally being the key word, uh, but because of that electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed uh, up. Um, Have you mentioned this to anyone else? I'm nope, no one's asked me about it either. And even if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. Okay, okay, all right, Monokuma. What about this existle? Right, it's, uh, hey, it's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn no. apart. No, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without the Monocubs or Kokichi. Uh -huh. It's just a pile of scrap then. Jeez, hey! don't scare me it's like that. Maybe magic. I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Oh. Ah, but I suppose uh, that if Kokichi was alive, he could move at any uh, time by remote. Oh! Why did you say that sooner? That's if Kokichi is alive. With that remote control Kokichi has for the existence, what is that exactly? Does uh, he have that because he's the mastermind? We have not seen him control Monokuma. We can't say for sure. All right, what about the, the washing machine? It doesn't look like it's been used in a while. Okay. Paint? Paint? It looks like a machine used to paint existles. It smells kind of like paint thinner. It looks the same as before, probably not related to the case. I was really hoping that that would be used in the case. There's no way. Really? Then why let me look at it? Really weird, right? Okay, there's up. Okay, maybe we need to talk to him. What? I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? Mm. The way you are now, you might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaito's death. No. No, that's not. Yeah. I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. Wow, Hibiko, why you be like this? Great, huh? I'll give you Afro hair with my magic. She's awfully. What's wrong with that? <laughs> She's awfully stubborn. Is she that suspicious of everything now? Is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? 
That makes her sound a little weird. It's like she doesn't want me to suspect her. Well, she is on the sus list. Obviously, we all are. I mean, with the way this game is, even Shuichi, right? Like, we can't even, we can't even, like, we can't trust the main character either. The Monokuma file this time barely has any info, any info at all. Okay. Yeah, it won't be much use Jeez. to us. It's so useless, he probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way, out of his way to give it to us. What do you have to say about it? That's nice. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. A mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. He popped out? Jeez. What an attention, huh? Hmm. Of course I want attention. I'm the mascot for crying out loud. Hey. And yet, I've appeared fewer times than playing Jane Tsumugi over there. I'd, it'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know. He does appear at random times. Um, advertising? What advertising? No. Ignore it. Let's just focus on the yeah. investigation. They're breaking that fourth wall, as always. Can we leave now? No? No? Wait, what is this? Did I not, did I not investigate this already? The sleeve has a single small hole in it. Okay, that suggests that it was made by a bolt. Hmm. A hole in the sleeve, what could it be? Kaito's coat. Right, that's gotta be it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, well, let's look at this. It's like, obviously, this got scratched to crap. This is the control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hanger. We hit it with an electro hammer, so it hasn't operated in a while. That's true. It's not operating. It's not working! That's right. What are these marks here? It looks like it's been struck by something sharp, like a knife, claws. Hmm. Wait, how is it? Wait, how were they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting near the control panel should cause the alarm to go off. Uh, you have to turn off the alarm before you even get close. So how did the person who did this get near the control panel? The only person I could see that it would make sense it would be Kibo because he's not human, so therefore I don't think that he would be detected. And we've already been here together before, so that just makes sense to me. And he did say he came here, so I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, uh, Shuichi. Okay. Uh, I was a bit worried. Uh, I, guess, I guess you're feeling better. I'm glad. Uh, there was something I needed to ask hey. Kibo. Before we went to the hangar this morning, you said that he went. What exactly did you see? Since we were in a hurry, I had told you about the Existle returning to the hangar. Okay. Yes, you said the Existles could pass through the alarm system and barriers to the hangar. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the Existle, I saw someone heading towards the hangar. Huh? Someone. Um... I saw Himiko. Himiko? I was in my lab, trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar clutching something in her hand. So she delivered the crossbow. Okay. Oh my god. I also had another theory, guys, uh, like the other day. Uh, yesterday, last night, I was thinking too, uh, <laughs> I think about this game at night. Another theory that's completely crazy, uh, could be crazy. What if Himiko this entire time does ha actually have magic? Because I could see that happening. It, what if she really does have magic? And like we just didn't believe her the whole game, but she was like, "No, I, I, she really does have magic." That would be crazy. I think it was a black bag. A black bag. Ugh. I. At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But, but after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. What? What did you see? She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not like I want to suspect her. You're right. True, it is suspicious. And she's off by herself, hey. so. You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the bag at the time? Well. Now that I think about it, she didn't. She had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be the black bag Himiko was carrying. Um. Uh, by the way, this is a little off topic, Shibuchi, huh? but. What? As I thought. The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electro bomb. But. But it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction such as hay fever to me. So it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. uh, that must be it. So that thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. He doesn't want to admit it, man. He's like freaking Pinocchio. He like actually is freaking Pinocchio. Like if you think about it. All right, gotta examine this. This is the hangar's only window. It's not possible to fit through. Which means the only way to get into the hangar is through the shutter. Okay. Obviously, the next thing we want to look at is where the existles were guarding Monokuma and why are they all cut? Whoa, whoa. Oh, Electro Hammer. Okay, well, there it is. 
And it's out of power. It must have been used. And why would they leave it? So that kind of goes uh, along with my Himiko theory. Yeah, and, and Kokichi said if you use it, it gets it Exisal. He didn't say multiple. He just said one. So it would have had to have been one. If I remember correctly. Oh, Marakuma, what do you want? <laughs> Pay attention. Listen up. Take heed, I say. Oh, and it's just thing. I noticed that you came this way last night, Shuichi. Huh? <laughs> you were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of a video store. No way! You didn't need to sneak around because the existence wouldn't have attacked you. Hey! Also, he actually saw us. Well, I would imagine that Monokuma is a camera, right? What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak. Because everyone's coming to rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone's going there is the, is the same. No, not that. I mean, the Existles not attacking yeah. us. Oh, at the time, the Existles were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Hey. Their um, moments are more limited now that the Monocubs aren't around to pilot them. Huh? Autopilot? You mean the remote control that Kokichi has? Well. That's pretty much it. Okay. So they're being controlled. But they were focusing on Monokuma. Hey. Why are you telling me all this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. Hey, um... But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Yeah. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Hmm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. Hey. So you share it instead. That way, it'll be fair to all the participants. So someone else besides me knows this. Why wouldn't they share this information? Okay. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. By the yeah. way, Ritzy movies is so old school, it's more thrilling to illegally download them. Psycho all right, so who'd want to... <sighs> Someone fess up? All right, let's look at all the accessories. Okay, they really didn't say anything about it. What about the fact that they're cut? That's not really important, apparently. Guys, you know what's crazy? There's all these monitors around, right? But we haven't seen any cameras. Where are the cameras? How are, how are all the students being monitored? I never really put much thought into it until right now. Now that I think about it, okay, so they're talking about the alarm system and how the electro bombs disable anything within a 50 meter radius, I think is what it said. And then now that I think about it, there were three electro bombs total. One was stolen by Maki, but what of the other two? Yes, Kokichi should have had them. That was all I was concerned with the hangar. But, uh, but I still don't have enough clues. There has to be more. The other places that might yield some clues okay. are Maki's lab and my lab. The crossbow in the bathroom and the bottle of poison. Okay. All right. Yes. I just went inside Rontaro's lab. That's not even fair. He was the most interesting looking character, and obviously his lab holds the key to like everything. I really hope before the end of the game we find out more about his character. All right. First, we're gonna go into Maki's lab. We need to see what weapons are missing. Well, they all should be missing now that I think about it. For the most part, I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. Yeah, they like piled them all at the gym, I remember. As I suspected, there are two black bags here, identical to the one in the hangar. There are cases for crossbows. The crossbows are inside, but disassembled. No. It looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless they're disassembled. But there are two when I was here with Kaito before. There were three of them. And we know that the crossbow is assembled, so for sure, uh, either this was done by Shuichi, this was done by freaking Kaito or Maki. Because they know how to assemble That's it. That's true. In that case, the crossbow in the hangar must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it from the hangar from here. But it's fairly difficult to put together the crossbow. I don't believe that you'd be able to do it unless Maki no. taught you. I'll think more about that later for now. I need to investigate. I'm starting to think, man, Shuichi has something to do with this. Alright, that's all we need to investigate. That's it? Alright, well... The Shuichi's lab. All right, let's see if that poison's missing. Uh, the small bottle. Okay, the small bottle of poison I found must have come from oh. here. There's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the other. Strike nine poison. This poison takes some time to spread, but even a small amount of it can be lethal. I can't imagine there's a smaller amount of uh, in this in the bottle for no reason. That must be a clue. Poison. Okay. Don't we have a bunch of files related to all the other murders? So. Okay, small glass bottles. Did someone take them out? Uh, antidotes. Oh. Hmm. Antidote, huh? I didn't know there these were here. According to the labels, each bottle is only one dose. And each one only works on a specific poison. Well. I suppose that makes sense. There are plenty of different kinds of poisons, so that must be true for antidotes. 
<sighs> strike 9 poison and antidotes. That is disconcerting. None of these antidotes are for strike 9 poison. They're all for different poisons. What could that mean? All right. I've investigated this room thoroughly. I didn't find any evidence to suggest Kaito isn't dead. On the contrary, there's plenty of evidence to suggest Kokichi isn't dead. Monokuma is still moving around and the killing game hasn't ended. And Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press, which means the, the victim must no. be. It's too soon. No, too soon, man. Okay, I should head back to the hangar. Perhaps I missed something. Well, if there was an antidote, perhaps someone hit it, right? Why would they leave it? It's only one, uh, one use anyway. I'm just saying, like, it's kind of funny. Kind of funny how Samugi's lab is pretty close to Shuichi's. That's a little s Oh, Maki. Shuichi! Can you come with what me? What happened? Uh, um, what's wrong? I found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry. Stranger than what I saw? Oh, it's probably something in the toilet. Hmm. What are you talking about, Kibo? I found a big old freaking dookie. <laughs> Did someone not make it to the toilet? Like, oh, I knew it! Oh, Kokichi! What? Hey! What are you looking at? Why- why would Shuichi, being a detective, a de freaking detective, not look inside the toilet? I wanted to look inside the toilet! Yes. Okay, story, it's for the story, apparently. What's his jacket doing in here? They're soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt that these are Kokichis. Uh, where did you find this? I didn't see it when I was investigating the bathroom. And why are they soaked? Well, well, the toilet seemed clogged, so I reached my hand down the drain and pulled out clothes. It looks like they couldn't be flushed all the way. Not even with a hot rod toilet like that? My god. Why were these clothes in the toilet in the first yeah. place? It was a very... Yes, it was very brave of me. And thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. Now, Shuichi, please investigate as much as you want. Uh, okay. Yes. Clogging the toilet. This uh, isn't the time to hesitate. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. But who would have done What's that? What's the matter? Is something the matter? Please investigate. Uh, okay. Uh, the ultimate detective uh, can't let a toilet stop him. It has to be important. Uh, All right. Important clue. All right. I made up my mind. Grab Kokichi Sewed's clothes and spread them open. Hmm. Huh? How could they be bloodstained? Is there no water in that bowl or what? From behind? Is that what that is? And another small hole on the sleeve. Hmm. This is about the same size as the one Kaito sleeve. There are traces of blood around the holes too. What does this mean? It could mean that he was attacked. In that case... No. There's a chance Kokichi was the one uh, crushed in the hydraulic uh, press. Thank you. Kibo, thank you. I don't know, but we need to find a couple of guys without shirts. <laughs> oh, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that hand of no. yours. Ah, your hands aren't clean either though. <laughs> Got that freaking poo poo hands. Uh, if this is awkward, Shuichi, I could leave and give you some privacy. Huh? You're concerned about that? Stupid Kibo. But we washed our hands in the sink and left the bathroom. Alright, Maki, spit it out. Why is it easy for you to believe Kaito's dead? Because I killed him. Ooh, crazy. Okay, so she has nothing to say. Uh, what about. Talk to Kibo again? All right. Now that we're out of the bathroom, we can uh, get a lot more done uh, thinking okay. done. Right. Himiko, I imagine, would not want to talk to you. What? Oh, you and Kipo both look more refreshed yeah. now. Refreshing each other in the boys' bathroom. Even now, you can't help yourselves, huh? That's true. This is all Himiko's imagination, but I don't even want to touch that right now. Hey! It's almost time for the class trial to start, right? Was no one able to find Kokichi? Uh, um... I wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. Well, they're going to show up because they have to. I see. I wonder where he went off to. That's how we'll know if they're dead or not. Did he disappear? He still can't be in the hangar. Or under there. Could it be? Shuichi, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Huh? Seems like... I mean, your face says you want to think that, but... It's plain to see. I think that's just a plain... It's just plain impossible. Kokichi's been manipulating all from the start. I can't believe someone like that could be killed by Kaito. Huh? Of course, I don't mean to compliment Kokichi or make fun of Kaito or anything. Okay. I know, you're probably right. Samugi does have a good point. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi died. But I'm certain that one of them must have. Okay. Oh no. Really? <laughs> it's about that time. That's right. It's time for the class trial where hope and despair meet head on. 
one. Please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard and head to the trial ground. Is this the last class trial? I really can't tell if it is or not. Everyone needs to be there. Got it? Anyone who's absent will be swiftly and permanently punished. <laughs> I wonder what kind of despair awaits you this I'm time. I'm so hyped for this class trial. I need to know the answers. Give them to me. Hmm. All right, that means Kokichi or Kaito, whoever is alive, will yeah. be there. Okay, you got, I gotta know. Don't worry, guys. I'm not ending it yet. We're gonna, we're gonna see. All right, moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth here. Huh? This isn't everyone, right? Uh, um, Kaito or don't tell me they're both dead. What's the point? I bet Kokichi is already there. If that's true, then that would be insane. Oh no, the theories, the theories are rushing through my head right now. Sorry. As the mastermind of the killing game, he's waiting for us to arrive. No. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance Kaito was alive. Do you want to die? Cut it out. Do you want to die? Well... This is a battle between hope and despair. If I know, if I show any weakness like you are, then I know I'll lose to despair. You don't know? Six of us will participate and one of us will die after this class trial. Then only five will be left. Only five. Yeah. That's right, we're the only ones left. That's obvious. But we can't lose the despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. That is the whole point of the class trial. I will defeat Kokichi no matter what I have to sacrifice. No matter what? Are you sure about that, Maki? Is that what you call hope? I know that we can't lose the despair, but something is wrong. Something just doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaito would say at a time like this. What would he say to us? If it was Kaito... Are they really not gonna show? Silent as a tomb, we stepped onto the open doors. Guys, I I I I don't know I don't know if anyone else is gonna show up. Can they really do that? Can they really be late? We had lost the will to live knowing what we know about the outside world, but somehow, despite the despair, we had found a new reason to live, to win the battle between hope and despair. But what do we do now? Why would any of them do it? I have to be right about my theory. The theory of that someone is actually evil and it's not Kokichi. Even though he, well, he is evil, but like, maybe he's actually just a liar. He's lying about it all. As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. Oh! It's just like nice. old times! A battle like this takes me back! After all, hope and despair are natural enemies. This is truly a magnificent theme! <laughs> only esteemed works of fiction have themes as magnificent as this. Why? Anyway, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Maki was right. They're the person who should be here isn't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What? What's going on? What are you scheming now? No. It doesn't matter what Kokichi is scheming. This is it. the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but uh, we'll never give up. Hope will never su submit to despair. For the love of, no rules have been violated. Not on my watch, you know. Shut up. Whatever. Hurry up and start. We'll end it with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair, no matter what. So get ready. Okay, okay. I get it. Now let's get started. Mix equal parts life and death. Add a dash of lies and truth. Fake it in fires of conflict. <laughs> and when it's golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class trial. Really? Holy crap, it's still gonna make us, like, wait? And once more, we... Fa we oh my god, really? It's just gonna start like that. I need to know, guys. Stay tuned for the next class trial. It's coming. And don't worry, guys. I don't, I'm not going to split that one up. We're going to do it all at once. Smash like. Scrub, scribe. And I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now. And don't worry. I want to know just as much as you do. So we'll get this going soon.